welcome back to my channel for today's video I will be doing a comparison between this brasso right here this is a metal polish brasso and the consistency for this is more likely in a paste so this one you could actually buy this one anywhere so let me just take a look at the consistency this is how it looks inside more like a paste and I am going to make a comparison on the Brasso that I got here this is actually I got this from UK and this one is liquid okay I'm just gonna show you a little bit so this is how it looks so it is liquid and also the inside is more likely on a yellowish color so I will be doing a comparison for that so yes first you have to wear gloves because you don't want any residue in your hands on the brasso because the smell is actually not pleasant at all and also do this in an area of your house that's actually very well ventilated if you could use uh, if you could do it outside your house in a garage or anything that's an open air and if you want to wear a mask which i always wear a mask when i am actually doing this to yeah i just didn't really like the smell of it and yeah you don't want to get suffocated on this one so i would suggest to apply it outside your home or a well ventilated area okay so i got this one in uk and this one i got right here in our supermarket so this is the brasso in a paste consistency is in the left and on the right is the liquid one so i'm going to apply this on my louis vuitton briefcase as you guys can see that this one is already like tarnished this one hasn't been clean in a long time as you guys can see it is like really dark it is really dark so on my left i'm going to use this brasso right here the paste and on the right i'm going to use this one the liquid one so all you need needed is the q-tip so this is i'm going to use this to apply the product so as much as possible i try to yeah so let me use the brasso first on the uh the paste one so all you have to do is just put it on the hardware just like that yes you guys could see the the paste the consistency of the paste it's a little bit thick so yeah even though i've tried to shake this and it's still really thick so all you have to do is just put all of those stuff right there so the good thing about this paste as well is that it wouldn't run like compared to the liquid ones so it just stays like that so make it sure that the place that you are cleaning that you're trying to polish were all covered like that so this is the paste one and next we are going to do the liquid so for the liquid this one all you have to do is get a q-tip once again yeah i could literally smell it has a really strong scent so yeah all you have to do is just dab it see the consistency of this one is like really like water so you might need something to yeah just make it sure that you you don't put out too much that gets right into the canvas 
I should protect the canvas though, but based in my experience, usually, yeah, I never had any issues with it. So you just have to put just like that, just dab it. So you see the difference? This one is the liquid ones and the paste. So let's try to compare this together. So yeah, we're just probably gonna have to leave it for like a minute. Okay. So yeah, we are done. Just have to put the enough amount that we needed. Just make sure it is all covered, not really totally submerged, but just put their enough stuff in there, just like that. Okay, now a few minutes has passed. Now we are going to scrub it. So, this is the paste right here. We have to start here. So, as you guys can see, that there, this one is just a lot of like excess product. So all you have to do is like, yeah, just rub it just like this. And I hate to see those excess product that gets right on the side. I hate those. So basically for me, this one is a little messy though, the paste. So I'm not a fan of it, but this one actually works fine. I hate to see those residue that gets into the canvas so I'm just gonna show you the uh, comparison between these two together so this one is a little bit for me personally hard to work on with because of see as you guys can see that it started to darken that's because the grimes the dirt started to come off like that and then we're going to do this part right here as well so yeah you have to push a little bit harder to be able to remove those grinds and all kinds of the tarnish in here so yeah that requires a lot a lot of effort and also in this at the bottom right here so I'm going to do this one as well so this one to remove the excess stuff yeah it started to discolored this one is white and now and then most of the time I could actually use a microfiber cloth but in this situation right now I will use a some napkins right here and I'm just going to to wipe the excess stuff so I'm going to wipe it like that and also I'm not done right here the bottom so let me just clean this one a little bit yeah right there this one actually requires a lot of elbow grease so you have to push it harder to be able to clean and remove all the residues so i put a little bit of water right there and yes this is how it looks right here see this is how it looks right now with the paste so it's actually clean right so now moving on to the next one right here this is the liquid one the liquid brazo on the right so i am going to clean it in a circular motion right there the only thing that i like about this liquid is that you can actually see those 
residue uh, on the side of like right now right here you can't even see it so now it is actually working and it started so the tarnish started to come off right now so you ha still have to press it a little bit more right there okay so let me just do this one right here so now I'm done so I just put as you guys can see I actually put a first coating for the left right here for the paste and then the liquid so and then I rubbed it and then these are this residue that came out so I use a a napkins to remove all the grimes right here because it's easier I don't want to use a microfiber cloth because I don't want to waste those stuff so that's how it looks right now as you guys can see that the paste right here the paste shows a little bit more it's a little bit cloudy though whereas the liquid it's very shiny so as you guys can see the difference right here and also the white um the paste actually left quite a lot of residue on the side and then the liquid ones i could barely see anything so what i would usually do is take the brush that i have on with the um saddle soap and i just brush it like this to remove those like that and then dry it so that's how i did it so yeah it's it's gone so you guys could see it is gone but right now i'm doing a comparison on this brasso that's actually made up of paste and liquid but as you guys could see right here the liquid actually shows more clarity compared to the paste so let me just yeah it shows more so but this is just the first coat so maybe if i would do the second one then you will actually see the difference so on the other side of these on the other end I actually did just the first coat of the liquid brasso and this is the finish product of it it is very very shiny it looks like brand new now whereas the other one let me see the other one yeah this is the paste so this is the paste see how it looks as you guys can see there's a crack right there there's a crack right there so this is the paste and this is the liquid right there you could actually see the difference and i am loving the liquid ones because it looks very shiny it looks brand new so yeah this is the comparison together right here yeah you could see the difference so anyway so yeah if you are if you wanted to clean any of your louis vuitton hardware special made up of brass i would highly recommend this you will never regret it the result this one is all right too i've been using this in a long time and since i found this yeah i will definitely gonna use this in all of my brass uh, brass hardware so anyway that's it for today guys thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye